All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to put on some gloves and you want to get out the highlighter ink. So uh, I already did that. And all I did was I used the cap like this and I pressed it down hard to open it. All right, now what we need to do is we're going to get a saucepan, this little saucepan. Uh, I got it at the dollar store. And what you want to do is you want to get a water ball with isopropanol alcohol in it and you have this tube. And what you're going to do is you're going to press that in here and you're going to squeeze you're going to squeeze out the fluorescent dye. And it's going to spill out on the other side. Now isopropanol alcohol is used for this because um, fluorescein is, is soluble in isopropanol. So just keep flushing this out. All right, so over here I have a hot plate, and I'm going to put our pot with uh, um, the fluorescein and alcohol mixture here. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, boil off as much as the alcohol as we can. So we'll be right back. As you can see right now, on one side there is a lot of reddish powder. That reddish powder is the fluorescein that we're looking for. Okay, when it looks like this, that means it's ready to turn off the heat and just set this pot aside to cool. As you can see, you can see the red fluorescein on the bottom of the pot. We're going to try to dry it up as best we can, but we can't completely dry it because it's hydroscopic. So it absorbs water from the air. Alright, so once it's fully cooled, you could get um, a flathead screwdriver, but I'm going to be using this, uh, this square tip on the end of a chopstick to scrape the powder up. All right, so on this chopstick, I got a really, really, really tiny amount of fluorescein right there, okay? And I'm gonna put it in this test tube full of water so we can see how strong this dye is. Here we go. As you can see, even just that tiny bit is really strong. The um, color of the water has changed into a fluorescent green color. Pretty awesome. 